Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's good to see everyone again. Um, I just kind of wanted to come and talk to you about positioning. Um, I know there's a lot of people, including myself, um, that wonder why are we still in the same position? Why are we not moving? Why is God not moving? Or it seems like he's not moving. And, you know, why are the same things continuing to happen over and over and over again? And, you know, these things, they can make you depressed. They can make you feel like you're not good enough. They can make you feel like um, you're doing something wrong. Um, but there's, there could be a million reasons why you're still in the same position. And a lot of times God has us in that same position because he is trying to teach us something so that we can be a light and to be able to teach somebody else or you know he could have us in that same position because he has already given us the answer to what we're supposed to be doing and how we're supposed to be doing it and where we're supposed to be doing it but we aren't moving like he's like okay i've given you the the every, i've given you everything you need to be able to move yourself from this position but you're the reason that's holding you back and i know i'm a victim of, of that towards my own self you know a lot of times i hinder myself from doing things because i'm like oh you know i'm procrastinating or you know i just oh i don't have the motivation right now you know and i'm like why am i still in the same place and the only person holding me back is me and you know i know a lot of other people around me young old you know there are certain things in our lives that we wonder you know, why is God not moving? And sometimes God isn't moving because, you know, he's trying to, like I said, teach you something. And because he wants you to be a light to somebody else, you know, and if we have not gone through it, how can we teach others? You know, and I definitely know for a fact <laughs> that God has taken me through certain things so that I can um, be a vessel to somebody else and be a light to somebody else. And like, for instance, like my current, situation um, financially work-wise and everything I'm like God why won't you give me a, a different job you know a place where you know I can do this I can do that you know and I've applied 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 for stuff and you know nothing has come and I look at my friends I'm like you know they can apply and they, they get call back right then and, you know, I'm starting to realize God has me positioned in a certain place to do what he has called me to do. And for sure, for sure, I know it is to be on this YouTube channel talking to you, you know. And I know a lot of times we look at people around us and we're like, you know, why, why is it happening to them? Why is it happening to them? Why are they getting married? Why are they getting the job? Why are they getting the new car? You know, all these things. And we tend to beat ourselves up because, because we're not there. We have to remember that our position is positioned by God. And that he has us in these positions for a reason, for a certain time, for a certain period. Just this week, a lady came to my job. I knew nothing about her. She knew nothing about me. And she told me, you know, sometimes God has us in positions, certain jobs, certain places, so that we can be a light to others. And I was like, oh, you know, sometimes you don't want to hear that stuff at that moment. It doesn't register then and it registers later. But I was like, I'm thankful for her coming in there and being positioned to tell me what she needed to tell me. And she was obedient to God. So, you know, I know it can get, it can get very discouraging. It can get frustrating. You know, you can, you know, go through different emotions because you feel like you're not moving like oh i'm praying i'm praying and god said if i pray the door will be open but sometimes we're knocking at doors that god doesn't even want to be open he's like you know you've been knocking at this knocking at this and if i wanted you to have it i would open that door up for you and i've been a person who's been dealing with that because you know, i've been knocking at certain doors for i feel like almost two years and the door has not been open finally I'm realizing that if God wants you to have something, if God wants to do something in your life, it doesn't take you to knock and knock and knock and knock and knock and 
not for it to happen. He can do it instantly. He can do it in a second. And, you know, a lot of times, like I just said, we're, sometimes we're knocking at the wrong door. Like, okay, like, you're in the same position because that's not where I want you to be. You need to stop knocking at that same door and try something else and seek me and see what I have for your your life and for the plan for your life. And, you know, sometimes we're battling some certain things internally, you know, maybe at work, maybe in a relationship, maybe in a marriage, maybe with our friends. And we just can't seem to get out of that, you know, that, that same thing, you know, that same thing that, that keeps happening, keeps happening, keeps happening. We're battling it internally. But he's like, I need you to seek me and I will fight that battle. And you won't even have to worry about it. Just like in his word um, here, he gave, he brought me to Second um, Chronicles 2017. And it says, you would not have to fight this battle. Take up your position, stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. And, you know, and that just reminded me that, you know, I don't have to fight any battle. I don't have to beg anybody to give me a job. I don't have to beg anybody to be with me. I don't have to beg anybody to like me. I don't have to beg anybody for anything. But if I give it to God, he will fight the battle. And he will make it happen if he wants it to happen. So that just goes to show it's, it's in his word. And, you know, I personally have to remind myself, like, even though I'm up here talking to you and telling you these things, these are things that I also battle on a, on a daily basis and go through. You know, so I'm not only telling you, as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself as well. You know, and it also says um, in Lamentation 3.26, it is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. And that is something that I am definitely learning because a lot of times, you know, when you're in a certain position, you want to figure out why. You want to figure out when. You want to figure out how. And a lot of times, God is like, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just be silent and just wait. And my salvation will be shown to you of what I want you to do and how I want you to do it and when I want you to do it and even where I want you to do it. And, you know, and a lot of times for me, I wear my heart on my sleeve, my emotions, and I'm quick to tell people, quick to, you know, um, just talk about personal things that God may be like, look, I need you to be quiet. I need you to seek me. I need you to look at me and to hear me and not have everybody else's everybody else's opinion in your head and in your mind and in your eyes you know so god wants you to wait on him that's another reason why i have been back here yes his name is ben um this is a um, portrait that i got from ross and when i saw it i was oh my god i gotta have it like you know, originally I was like, oh my God, it's matte black, you know, and I love things that are matte black, black and white. And then as I kept looking at it, I was like, oh my God, it's like even more meaning to me because it's a giraffe and it looks like it's looking to God. And I was like, oh my God, I, ha I have to have it because it reminds me that I got to keep my eyes on God, like no matter what position I'm in, no matter what's going on. No matter who's around, who's not around, no matter what job I have, what job I don't have, no matter who likes me, who doesn't like me, I got to keep my eyes on God. And God is going to continue to direct my paths and direct my, my mind and direct my heart to what he wants me to do, what he, what he wants me to have. And I know we're human, you know, we get down, we get sad, we get frustrated, we get off track. But that's when we got to remember that God is for us and he wants the best for us. And he's going to give us our needs first and then our wants. He said, ask and the door shall be open. But that's if he wants the door open, not if we want the door open. So, you know, I just wanted to come and kind of just talk to you about positioning. 
to let you know that you're that there's a, a plan for you that you know wherever you are in that position is for a reason and maybe you need to ask god why am i in this position why do i feel like i'm not moving? it's because i haven't learned what you want me to to be taught is it because i am not on your on your plan is it because i need to be in this so i can teach somebody else ask god what is it and be ready to hear what he has to say if that, if that means you know just sitting and being quiet and being able to hear clearly from him because a lot of times we have a lot of distractions going on we got you know tv shows we got social media we got friends we got you know all these different distractions and a lot of times we can't hear clearly from god and i know you know especially like when a tv show is going on and i'm really into it and it's like weeks so i'm like oh my god i can't i can't wait i can't wait till this this new show comes on especially like insecure like i love the show insecure and it has taught me a lot of good things but i do know that when that season was on i was so in tune to insecure probably every week that's what i look forward to and sometimes you know to be able to hear god and to hear what what he wants for your life you have to kind of tune a lot of stuff out and i'm not definitely not talking bad about your spirit because that, that is still the show <laughs> but i'm just saying a lot of times we don't realize things are consuming our minds and consuming how much time and how much you know things are have taken over that we can't even hear god and what he wants for our lives even when we pray but sometimes we'll pray about things and be like oh my god like you know he has an answer and that's because we're distracted so Whenever you ask God to show you things, to speak to you, you need to make sure you're ready to hear and ready to receive and ready to be, um, have your mind clear to hear him clearly. So just, just sometimes you just got to just turn it off. Just turn the phone off, turn the TV off and just sit in quietness. And I do that a lot. So um, I think I'm pretty pretty used to to sitting in quietness I think it's pretty relaxing sometimes but just know that your position is for a reason you're in that position for a reason and you just need to seek God find out why he has you in that position and where he wants you to go and what he wants you to do and just try to go from there you know I know it could seem long it seems like sometimes God is not talking it seems like he's not listening but he is and a lot of times just like they say when the teacher is given a test the teacher is not talking so you could be in a test and god is going to keep giving you that same test the same test over and over and over again until you pass it so just ask god say god what is it what is it why do i keep going through these same things over and over and over again and why do I, do I seem like I'm not moving? So that is my homework assignment for you this week is to ask God, why are you still in the same position that you feel like you should be moving from or in or whatever, you know, and see and see where he takes you and just be ready to receive it and be ready to hear what he has to say, clear your mind, clear your space. You know, if you have to say, like, I can't go to this event i can't can't hang out with you right now for, for your friends stuff like that because you're in a place where you really need to hear from god that's what you have to do you know so my prayer is for you know everyone watching this video um to be able to know what their plan is and to know why they're in a certain position so make sure you comment below like if you have any type of questions you know, even if you just want me to pray for you, comment below. Um, or if you just want to talk, um, you know, I'm reachable by email. I'll place my email link below, you know, because I like people to, to encourage me as well, you know, and I like to encourage others. So um, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope everyone is having a great day. Continue to have a great day and continue to keep your eyes on God and be blessed.